I'm here today with the Nikon D600. If you looked on the internet recently, you see that Nikon decided to place all of the shutter mechanisms in the D600s for free, probably because there was a class action lawsuit in relation to this camera. So I'm not totally sure about other countries, but they decided to bite the bullet and they're going to replace the shutters on these cameras. That's a good thing. I'm going to eventually send mine in. Haven't noticed too much of an issue, but I don't clean my sensor that often. And I did check and there's quite a bit of dust on there. So it could be from, you know, just changing lenses or it could be partly from all of the issues with the camera. So I'm going to send it in and hopefully get that fixed and worked out. Uh, did get a replacement, you know, a cheap replacement to live in the interim period, you know, so I can fully use my lenses and such. Just want to hear your thoughts an issue. Personally for me, I use the camera. It works for the most part. Just recently I did a photo shoot meetup type thing and it was fun. You've got the large studio lights and you're shooting at f8, f10 or whatever and then you, I do see some dust so that's kind of a hassle. Of course I don't clean my sensor that often so <laughs> uh, anyways but I just want to hear your thoughts too on this issue. Hopefully Nikon gets the memo and decides to put a little bit more quality control and all that into cameras before the release. With the fact that I need to send my D600 in and I probably have some photo shoots or conventions or something coming up. I do have the EOS M but it's not really a good camera to use even with an adapter you know with the Nikon lenses. More of a hassle to focus and all that and my flash system won't really work too well with that camera either so I decided to pick something up cheap at a lens that was on consignment got about $200 for that and I also was able to resell the lens that came with the kit got it for about $150 so take the 600 and send it in eventually to get fixed decided to pick up a D3200 that's quite a bit smaller as you can see But, nice little camera so far. Um, of course it lacks quite a few of the more professional level features. Uh, the main one for me that's pretty irritating is it doesn't have FP sync, also known as high speed sync. 